Hey everyone, welcome back to the Glitch Step tutorial series. In this video, we're diving into patterns. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. Glitch Step offers eight pattern buttons, each with its own discrete setting. You can switch between these patterns to create sequence variations on the fly. Let's talk about steps. Tap a step button to toggle it on or off. When a step is off, it's muted and won't play, but still holds its place in the sequence. When it's on, it plays normally. This allows you to toggle steps while the sequence is running to make variations of your patterns in real time. Steps have a light indicator above them that can be in three states indicated by colors, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary is the default state. In this theme, it's blue. Secondary, pink, is the slice state and tertiary is the glitch state, which is a mix between the primary and secondary colors of the theme. In this theme, it happens to be purple. These lights help you visualize your sequence at a glance. The indicator lights also show your sequence start and end with a bracket T facing left for start and right for end. Now let's talk about slides. To activate a slide, slide your finger across a step. Slides keep the step note active until the next step, creating a smooth transition between notes. You can identify which steps have slides on them by the arrows that are pointing right from the indicator lights. Also, the step color is the tertiary color, shown purple here, as well as the arrow. Next, let's dive into notes. I'll use a cursor so I can show you exactly where I'm tapping. In note mode, you can adjust the pitch of each step. You simply drag up and down on a note knob to change the note value. Notes adhere to the selected scale, keeping your sequence in harmony. Double tap a knob to reset the note to its default value for that step. And if you hold on a knob, it will reset your default value for notes altogether. So I just set C2 is my default value. Now I can come over here on this G2, double tap it, and I'll change it to C2. Now if I want that back to G2, you can quickly set it to another default value like that. Hold on this G2 over here, and I've reset it. Then I can double tap again. To set that one. This is a quick way to copy notes. Now on to gates. Gates control the duration a note is held. Adjust the gate setting for each step with its knob. The larger the value, the larger the duration, and the smaller the value, the shorter the duration. Slides override gate settings, extending the note duration to the next step. You can also double tap a knob to reset the gate to its default value. And you can also long press to set a new default value for gates. Let's talk about velocities. Velocities control the intensity or volume of each note. Adjust the knob value to change the velocity of a step. Double tap to reset a velocity. And then long press to set a new default. And next up is probabilities. Probabilities determine the likelihood of a step playing. You can also change the value, just like every other knob, to change the probability. You can then double tap to set it, reset a default, and long press to set a new default. Finally, let's cover pattern rates. Pattern rates control the speed of individual patterns. When GR is set, the pattern is set to the global rate. 
If you select a specific pattern rate, that pattern will play at that rate, independent of what the global rate is set to. Okay, that's all for pattern section. With these tools, you can craft dynamic and complex sequences in no time. See you in the next video.